in the property management industry, not all companies are equal or just. In San Antonio, Texas, the dedicated staff at Larson Properties investigate these vicious abuses of real estate and help the victims recover. These are their stories. I'm a Texas wall man, so I don't have a lot of time to be messing with property management. I did my research, found out what I thought to be the right company, and then was blindsided with fee after fee. There's a fee for marketing, there's a fee for pictures, a fee to meet with interested tenants, a fee to pick up the phone if they can get away with it. Now I'm all about making a buck, but these guys are greedier than Dallas Divorce Lawyer. Don't let these swindlers take your money now. I always be sure to find out what fees are included, because the devil's in the details. I started looking for a property manager and came to find I had a lot of choices. I met with a rep from a company. She seemed nice enough. And so I hired them to manage my property. Big mistake. I didn't do nearly enough research. I forgot to check the reviews. I wish I had. Now I'm stuck in a year-long contract with a company that won't return my calls. They're awful. Please read reviews and don't let a fast talker with a great price sell you on a load of baloney. I am a military wife and me and my husband just moved out of state to Colorado, so we're looking for someone to help sell our home in Texas. I hired my realtor. At first, things were great, and I got a personal experience since I had already worked with her before. But that's until we got tenants in there. It started with two young guys, and at first they were great tenants. But as time went on, my realtor, now property manager, started dropping the ball. Another tenant moved in without her even knowing about it, and that's when the problems really started. Once she finally found out there was another tenant, instead of kicking him out, all of them out, she added him to the lease. So now we have three young guys living in my home. And guess what happened next? My home was destroyed. Toilets clogged, fenced down, AC units in the front windows. All the while, I'm unaware because I'm not in the state. When I finally got her to take pictures, I was appalled. It was a mess. Now I'm looking for a new property manager and I have a destroyed house and a ruined personal relationship. Don't do what I did and hire your realtor, no matter how much you trust them.